That special and unbeatable feeling of match day is in the air. And the knowledge that this has all the makings of a vibrant and compelling encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high. And every expectation that this game will live up to its considerable billing. Welcome to the Hawthorns. Will you please... Will Stay with us. We'll have every kick of the ball live on EA TV. What you really are spoiled for choice when it comes to football grounds in the Midlands of England. Welcome to the Hawthorns. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's West Bromwich Albion, and they take on Southampton. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Here's the starting 11 for West Bromwich Albion. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players would be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. Well, I think it's good refereeing. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. Pass. Can he do it? And danger still. Well, they can keep possession now. Flynn Downs. Kyle Walker Peters has it. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stewart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, what pockets he's playing with at the moment. The second top scorer in the competition, and I expect it to have more impact again today. Could be dangerous. Might be a chance here. And a very good challenge. Will Smallbow. Oh, he's lost possession. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. Beautiful pass. Downs. Well, they have the ball once more. Foul there. Free kick awarded. It's with Jed Wallace. favor the cross looking away patiently looking for an opening and with that they thwarted the opportunity Brooks Will Smallbow Arriba Downs the challenge that was required.
Brandon Thomas Asante. And a lot to like about this attack. Chance here. Well, what can you say? A guilt edged opportunity to level it. Well, they have to score there. That was a great opportunity to equalise. Sitting deep and just trying to form a really coherent block. This looks more than decent. Genuine chance. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. So, 2-0 now. Johnston. the one that goes astray. In possession here. Johnston. Brooks. Armstrong. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Oh, great attacking play. Threat posed by the cross. Arrivo snuffing out the danger. Kipre. 
Darnell Furlong. And if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Heads of challenge. Arriba. Peters and the referee's whistle that will do it for the first half here in the Midlands well he hasn't quite had the impact and attack that we were expecting Stuart well Derek he's usually so clever around the edge of the box but today he just hasn't shown that as the touch map shows us he hasn't had enough touches in those key areas So back underway here, into the second half. So a personnel change then. Kai Yokushlu. Mowat. An effective challenge. Bednarek. Smallbone. Brooks. Well, a really good run. they make passing look easy. Walker Peters. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Townsend. It's with Yokushru. Kipre. Furlong. Will Smallbone Smallbone well, Possession is the watchword Inside their own territory Brandon Thomas Asante Johnston players waiting in the middle now can they make something happen a disappointing end to the move Darnell Furlong well, it's attractive football, but they need effective football. They need a goal. And simple for the keeper to just come and collect. Will Smallbone. Now David Brooks. Jay Adams. It has to be! And the keeper, there to deal with it. preferred and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Townsend being pressed here well the stats confirm it Southampton have had the lion's share of possession yes they've played well when going forward but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here and it makes them such a good team it's been a brilliant performance so far
Colombi. Brandon Thomas Asante. Opportunity it is. Save, but still a chance. Danger averted for now. Brooks. Smallbone. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Jason Molumbi showing good defensive judgment. Armstrong, the delivery. Managed to get it out of there. Giving it a real go in the wide area. And strong play here. Molumbi. And he read it well. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Armstrong. Can they create something from here? Options in the middle. Not away completely. Well, they survived the attack. Mowat. Very timely interception. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Walker Peters. Walker Peters. Will he play it in? Johnston, Mowat, Kipre, Darnell Furlong, Wallace, really getting stuck in. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Armstrong. Smallbone. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. And there goes the final whistle. A story of disappointment, you've got to say, from a West Brom perspective. Where did it go wrong? You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggled to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball, and then just a few mistakes at the back, and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well, and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?